Hello and welcome to a new video where I will show you how to install and configure my latest plugin Wikiomatic Wikipedia Post Importer Plugin for WordPress. So to get started, click Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, choose File, select the zip file you downloaded, click Install Now. After the installation, activate the plugin. Now we can go to Plugin Settings. Here the plugin uh, requests uh, Google Open Graph API key for it to work. It uses Google Open Graph to get content from Wikipedia. So we must get started and get a Google API key. We can click Create Project. Click create after we enter the name. And the project is created. Now click create credentials, API, API key. This is the API key <coughs> that we must insert here. And click save info. But before before we proceed, we must go to library and uh, enter here Knowledge Graph Search API, select this and click Enable. If you don't enable it, it won't work. Okay, now we are ready and set up for things to run. Now we can go to Wikipedia to posts and insert here a search query. I want to search, let's say, restor uh, restaurants in London. I want to run this schedule every 24 hours. I want to import 10 posts at once. I want the post to be published. The post should be post type. Uh, here will appear every uh, custom post type that I have installed in my team. Post author. And we can go to advanced settings. Here we can customize the post title. We can use shortcodes. We have these shortcodes available for the title. Here we can customize the content. We have these shortcodes available for the post content. Accepted search results we can restrict to a category. Result language we can select a language to search in. Enable loose search. This will uh, search for uh, if I enter Jung. I will get results from Jungle, Jung, Jung Hokan. If I don't check this, only uh, fixed match matches are returned. So only this will be returned. Get only rich content posts. If you uncheck this, you will get a post with very little content in them. You can import by IDs. These are uh, knowledge graph IDs. So you have to get the knowledge graph ID of the post first. Get full article content from Wikipedia. Strip HTML. These are HTML contents from Wikipedia. These are the edit sections, the table of contents, the info box from the top references and external links so by default they will be stripped from content you can strip images from content limit title word count to a number generate post format if your wordpress installation supports them additional post category you can assign additional categories import categories from title or tags additional post tags 
enable comments, ping back trackbacks, auto get featured image or default featured image with no image found. Okay. How let's search for some images. Let's say this one. This is okay. And insert it here. So this image will be set if the restaurant has no featured images uh, returned. Save the settings. The rule is created. Now we can head to our blog and view it. So now it is empty. Now let's run the rule manually. Also the rule will run every 24 <coughs> hours automatically. And the rule is successful already. Refresh our blog and our posts are created. Let's have a look. San Lorenzo. Scandinavian kitchen. Okay, let's create another rule. This time, let's say I want to use uh, Hungary. Import only one post, so I know that only the main post about Hungary will be imported and let's have a look at our blog the featured image is the flag and many many things about Hungary are imported so the full Wikipedia article is getting imported Okay, we have also here an activity and logging section. We can view the rules that are currently running. We can restore plugin default settings, delete all posts generated by this plugin and view activity log. Now let's go back to plugins main settings. Also don't bother using this API key because I will delete it after I finish this video. Let's have a look at the advanced settings for the plugin. Do not check for duplicate posts. This will force the plugin to not check for duplicates <coughs> and will import posts even if the post already exists on your WordPress installation. Strip links from generated post content. We can force the plugin to strip generated post content. Uh, strip links. Show extended item information meta box. I'll show you right now what this is. If we go to a post, we will see this this meta box right here down. This is generated by the plugin. We can disable it here. It contains additional information about the post. We can enable logging, we can enable advanced logging, we can automatically clear logs as we define. We can define our plugin uh, rule timeout in seconds. If the rule takes more than this to run, it will automatically be stopped. We can send a summary for rule running into an email address. Minimum title work on maximum title work on minimum content work on maximum content work on banned word list, required word list. These are restrictions for post. If the post does not meet these restrictions, it will not be posted. We can resize the featured image as we want. We can strip HTML contents by ID or class. These are global rules. So these apply to all uh, generated rules. Skip posts that do not have images, automatically translate content using Google Translate to any language. We can hide Google Translate pop-up from content. We have a built-in spin, a tag spinner uh, feature to replace the words with synonyms. And also we have three other uh, tag, spinning, tag spinning methods. We have a random sentence generator tool. 
define here or here sentences with uh, many variables in them and the variables will be defined here so if i define the percent adjective variable and use it here i have the adjective variable and it has assigned these values so this variable will be replaced with one of these values at random okay <clears throat> also we have a custom html code one and two you can use it with this short code in content or title and this one is this short code and also we have affiliate keyword replacer search for this keyword in content replace it with this keyword and add a link to it with this uh, field okay so this is all i hope you will enjoy my plugin until next time bye bye